All right. So let's talk a little bit about software. Uh, software is obviously, I think, just as important as hardware. We've talked a lot about the hardware. Uh, our software has been uh, uh, in the market for a significant amount of time. And as such, we've developed a very comprehensive feature set for it. Uh, we call it Halo. And today, it's uh, quite, quite a robust set of capability. We think it's the most robust software stack in the business. Uh, what's also nice is it's all our stuff. Uh, so when we sell our product to customers, they actually don't pay any software licensing fees at all. They buy the system and they get all of the features included with the purchase price. That's a, a pleasant departure from the traditional large disk array vendors that are just hitting customers over the head with licensing fees on software. So as part of our software stack, of course, we can, uh, let's go ahead and start at the top and look at the administration layer. Um, we have a, a graphical interface for administering the device. We also have a very powerful command line interface. And we also have an API, an API that we publish. It's a REST-based API. And we publish that to our customers so that they can use the REST uh, HTTP style standards uh, to administer the Nimbus platform. Uh, we find that REST is uh, pretty exciting for a lot of our large customers having that capability because it allows for a lot of automation. Now, in our thin provisioning layer, as I mentioned, everything in the Nimbus platform is thin provisioned, uh, and we support all the major protocols. That means uh, iSCSI, uh, NFS, SMB, Fiber Channel, and SRP. We also support IP over IB, so customers can actually deploy this into an IB fabric and run IP-based storage protocols on that IB fabric, so iSCSI over InfiniBand. NFS over InfiniBand, in addition to running those services over traditional Ethernet. We also support uh, protocols like Direct NFS, which is an Oracle-specific NFS client that leverages RDMA to minimize CPU utilization on the Oracle servers. We support that, too. Now, in our data management layer, we provide uh, both uh, synchronous and asynchronous replication. Uh, we provide snapshots. Uh, also, inline deduplication as well as uh, inline encryption. Uh, all these features are selectable, so customers can create an encrypting pool in the Nimbus, uh, a deduping pool in the Nimbus, uh, a replicated pool in the Nimbus, or a pool with nothing uh, in the Nimbus if they like. So, so that's clearly encryption at rest. Is it also encryption in flight for the replication? Uh, <coughs> yeah, the encryption is actually done before it hits the replication layer. So the encryption is done, yes, yeah, so the data that goes out the door is encrypted. How do you deal with key management? We don't. Uh, so this is an area that we're going to be developing more of. Actually, we're at the CIA conference today in uh, Langley, and uh, they're getting all sorts of questions around how we do key management. So that's something that's coming in the first quarter. Uh, today, it's uh, basically the key is actually in the uh, boot flash of the array. So it's, okay. it's effectively within the controller here. Mm -hmm. Um, what we do as far as external key management, we're, we're kind of working through that. Good luck, people. Okay. Uh, but it's 256-bit and 512-bit uh, encryption. What, um, what mechanism like blowfish or what, what, mecha uh, what encryption algorithm are you using? Uh, like blowfish? Uh, what, what are you encrypting with? Oh, I, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. I, uh, I just know it's the, the 256 or the 512-bit. Uh, is that like a... Sounds like AES. Yeah, it's, it's AES. AES. I'm sorry. Okay. If I, I thought I said that. Okay. okay. Yeah, AES. Have, <laughs> I I sorry. No, no. If you're, doing, if you're the key stored in the management control, if you have to replace the controllers, does that create... You have to create make note of that. Yeah. <laughs> make note of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. There's, a, there's a let, little let's more... Let's say there. it's in the controllers and hopefully in the safe too. <laughs> Can yeah. you export the key? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so I don't know, Absolutely. Step, you, step Sorry about one, you turn on this export keys. Uh, it's actually called backup config, well, and it captures everything. <laughs> so okay. All the config parameters of everything. Actually, can you uh, though, the we're keys out on, on, over the internet and send them to China. What can one do that? <laughs> yeah. Can you I, do that? <laughs> can I put in a feature request for that? Can I have a feature request? If you have, you uh, if you have root access, I suppose. Sure I can figure it out. <laughs> Somebody on um, Twitter is that. Are we asking the question to the supported versions of NFS and SMB? Sure. Uh, NFS 2, 3, 4, uh, SMB 1 and 2. SMB 3? No 3? Working on it. Okay. The NFS? Uh, Go SMB Working three. on it. Yeah. So those are 2013 things. But absolutely, SMB 3 is 
pretty hot project uh, right now. And uh, PNFS is also hot. Um, it's got some evolving still to do, I think. You know, one of the beautiful things of this platform is under the covers, uh, it, it is a, a Linux kernel. So its ability mm -hmm. to embrace sort of new infrastructure protocols can, it can move very quickly in that respect. Have you released any kernel modifications yet? Hmm? Have you released any kernel modifications, or are you using vanilla? Uh, it's uh, it's kernel.org, uh, and then everything we've done is effectively is outside the kernel space. Uh, cool. Okay. How about uh, you? You mentioned yesterday uh, ODX and T10. So um, it's T it, our approach to VAI is T10. Uh, we didn't do the ESX4 uh, flavor of it. Nobody nobody did except the big six. So. That's what I thought. Yeah. Um, as far as ODX, uh, will that, does it use the same? It uses T10, exactly the same. I think it's something we just need to qualify, but you know, sh should, should be there. Okay, and then just the final uh, uh, bucket over here. So RAID, as we talked about, we do single and dual parity RAID. Uh, we also do RAID 10. Uh, and then capacity aggregation means that customers can create uh, arrays that can be grown, uh, but then also can combine arrays into a, a logical pool and then carve out data stores that span the pool. So as you scale uh, the system, uh, you can choose to keep arrays confined within specific enclosures, yet still get a, a single pool of storage through this, this pooling capability. That's what we call this capacity aggregation. All right. From a management perspective, uh, it, it's pretty great. Uh, so the CLI is very easy to use. There's uh, oh, it's, it's, it's a plain English CLI. When you want to create a target, the command is create iSCSI target. When you want to create NFS, it's called create NFS export. Uh, when you want to set event notification, you run a command which is called event notification. Uh, <laughs> so it's very, very easy, plain English. Uh, the what rest no of arcane dark arts? How are we going to keep our funny baloney jobs? <laughs> You will be, your superiors will be so impressed with what you've done for their infrastructure, you will not only keep your job, you will be promoted within your job, and you will have more time in the day to do fun things. Is that a guarantee? Is there SLA for that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> talk six to nines. Scott. Six, six, nines. <laughs> six nines for that one, okay. Yeah. So how easy is the command to completely wipe the system? Uh, Let's wipe system. It's, <laughs> it's, it's not quite. Uh, um, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, there. I mean, you need to have root access to do it, uh, but there is a secure erase that runs in, you know, a second. So when you say root access, is there actually a Linux command line interface for this? Most of it is you don't see it. I mean, but okay. you you can you can SS, you SSH in and run command. So I'm not going to be like running Perl on this. No. no. Okay. Yeah. Please don't. <laughs> Yeah, the, but the idea is that you know you can leverage you know some of the you know security bits and other things that are there already in the kernel. It's, it's a very strong kernel. Um, GUI. Uh, that particular screenshot there is from a soon to be released. A uh, very exciting thing. I don't want to bust Scott's uh, great story, uh, but we have something coming that's pretty cool. Uh, the design of our API, by the way, is is actually a wrapper around the CLI. So the syntax and everything is, is identical. So if you do anything in the API, it's as if you did it through the CLI. So there's absolute commonality. And then the GUI actually just talks to our API. So it's a very uh, kind of elegantly designed uh, management interface that everything sort of is all linked together. It's not like you can do something in the GUI and the CLI might not know about it or that the syntax is different. Everything is all so integrated. When I do things in the GUI, do you expose the CLI? Uh, no, the, because, the, because I want to do it the first time through the GUI, right. cut and paste the CLI that generates, because now I'm going to repeat it 50 times. There are right. a lot yeah. of PowerShell commands, or a lot of Windows uh, administrative tools that are giving you that now. It's like, yeah. click here to see the PowerShell, and then yeah. you never have to do it again. Through the yeah, GUI. it's one of the things I like best about NetScreen firewalls. It's, you know, you define one rule, and then you need to find 200 rules that are very similar. You just go and you, you do it once through the GUI, you go to the And it will spit file. out the CLI command to actually do the exact same thing. Right. And then oh, you can automate okay. it and then, or Smitty is and then you can cut and paste and build yeah. a text file. Uh, Smitty is how I learned all sorts of things in sysadmin. Yeah, we'll probably dump it as, a, as the HTTP command right. because it's calling the API. Um, that's easy. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, that's easy. Just uh, add a 
And he's got to add a, yeah, a, that's it. You know, just, dump just that. Dump whatever I just did to a log file. Yeah. Simple. Even I can code that. <laughs> uh, we know better. <laughs> <laughs> I know better <laughs> as well. Um, application integration, we talked a lot about this. Uh, we have the VAI support uh, with VMware. Uh, we also work with Oracle's direct NFS client, all, all the related stuff, ASM, Golden Gate, uh, DataGuard. Um, we're our, uh, on the VMware uh, HCL, uh, we're on the Citrix uh, HCL, uh, so we've got all the, all the grounds covered there. So you've covered all of my first question whenever I talk to you. Uh -huh. Are you <laughs> on, on the, the HCL? Yes, yes, we are, yes, absolutely. <laughs>